Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Cap Filmmaker. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at that classic force pull effect. So let's dive in. Okay, for this effect, you're gonna need two pieces of footage. One where you're performing the action without a lightsaber, and one where you're performing the action with a lightsaber. In my shot, I'm using a lightsaber, but you can use any kind of object. I'm gonna put my lightsaber on the table. Let's get to filming. Okay, so we're gonna import our new footage into After Effects and create a new composition with that footage. Next, hit Ctrl D and duplicate the layer. Trim the top layer to the point where you start to pull back without the lightsaber. Next, trim the bottom layer to the point where you pull back with the lightsaber. Try and line the clips up as best you can. You can lower the opacity of one to make it easier to line up. Once you've done that, you should be left with this. Now we're going to add the saber flying across the room. Duplicate the first layer and find a frame where the lightsaber is in frame. Right click, press time, then freeze frame. Next, use the pen tool to mask around the lightsaber. Be as accurate as possible. Use the position, rotation, and scale parameters to line it up with the actual lightsaber. Line it up from the end and the start and you may need to adjust the keyframes in between. Don't forget to enable motion blur. Now we need to remove the original saber from the table. Duplicate the bottom layer and find a frame where the saber isn't there. Mask around the area that the saber is in and the saber should be gone. Next we're going to make the saber move slightly before it leaps to my hand. Trim the saber layer into three sections. Section 1, nothing moving at all. Section 2, wiggling slightly. Section 3, flying towards you. For the second section, move the anchor point to the base of the lightsaber. Now we're going to add an expression. Bring up the rotation panel and hold Alt and click the stopwatch. Then type this exactly. W I G G L E open bracket four comma four. Then use the curves effect to do a little bit of color grading. And with that, your effect should be completed. Let's have a look. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And hey, if you want to learn how to create the lightsaber effect, check out this video. Pretty good. Maybe you don't want the civilized kind of weapon? Why not check out the blaster effect? And while you're there, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching.